were very proud to launch the program called Step It Up America. And the concept was very simple. We were doing these things all over the world. And we said, why can't we do this right here in the United States, where, again, there is incredible divide between social, economical divide. We looked at the statistics. And here are some of the stunning statistics. You know, you have 70% of all new jobs in the, in, in the country will have heavy technology component. That is, you've got to be a technologist in some manner to have those jobs. Minorities have an incredibly uh, difficult time getting into these jobs. So the statistics of minority women in technology jobs today is less than 0.5%, which means that 70% of the new jobs, which is the, where wealth is made, is completely closed to an entirely huge sections of the population, which really isn't the American dream, which isn't what anybody desires. So we decided to act quickly. And we said, well, we're going to do it in small ways that we can do. We don't want to have government help. Or, you know, we said, as a private company, we are free to do what we can do to help. So we decided to go to 10 cities of America, train 100 minority women in each of those 10 cities in the first 10 months, hire, so we will hire 1,000 women who never had a shot to get technology jobs. And they are women who had tried to get educated. They have, some have gone to community colleges. Some have had other education. But they just have never got a shot to participate in information technology. Uh, we started in Atlanta, then Philadelphia, Detroit, uh, LA, Chicago. And today is the launch in New York. And interestingly, when we started this Step It Up, I really didn't think it would catch such national attention as the program. And it's fascinating because um, Vice President Joe Biden uh, came to visit UST and met with these uh, women who are getting educated and went on public media. I believe it's the first time in the history of the United States a sitting vice president publicly endorsed a private company uh, that is creating uh, jobs at scale. And uh, his point was the program so far was focused on training and praying. Hopefully they'll get a job. This is training and placing, which is significantly different. And uh, our objective is to go to uh, 10 cities for 1,000 women as phase one, and then to 50 cities for 5,000 women. And all of these women are going to be employed by UST Global. They'll then. be employed by UST Global. Okay. And how do you choose the women? Where do you choose them from? How do you recruit? Number of sources. Uh, we work with local community colleges, local universities. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of campaign that's going on with, for example, Vice President in the last month publicly endorsed this program seven times. It's on White House's homepage. I mean, you get a lot of folks who are looking at it, applying for these jobs through social media. But I think our system is, the way we look at it is when we go to a city, we accept 1,000 applicants, and then we have an assessment process that whittles that down to 400. So 600 gets eliminated for various reasons. These 400, we have face-to-face -face interviews, and we hire 100 out of it. So the ratio is 1 to 10, and, and that just explains there is so much talent uh, to be had. But these 100 women have extraordinarily high, this is a very tough program. Um, it's 90 teaching days, and in 90 teaching days, we deliver 720 hours of core computer science curriculum, university caliber as opposed to if you go through a four-year undergraduate degree in computer science, the number of total number of hours that you spend on information technology is 240 hours. So, so when they come out of this program, they can compete with pretty much anybody out there. So this is not a, ha this is the most important thing is this is not a handout. It's a helping hand and they're going to compete head-to-head -head with the other, with anybody else out there.